Now we're going to go over the guide of practice for midpoints. So the first one, we want to find the coordinates of the midpoint of each segment. But first we need the coordinates of endpoints. So we need the coordinates of Q and of T. And the key coordinate for Q is the origin, which means it's 0, 0. And T is right 3. So positive 3 and down 2, so negative 2. So 3, negative 2. And then we need to find the coordinates of the midpoint. So again, label your x's and y's if you need to. Add your x's together, so 0 plus 3, and then divide by 2. Add your y's together, so 0 plus negative 2, and then divide by 2. 0 plus 3 is 3, divided by 2 is 3 halves. 0 plus a negative 2 is a negative 2, and negative 2 divided by 2 is a negative 1. So our coordinate for our midpoint is 3 halves negative 1. Our next one, B is the midpoint of segment AC. A has coordinates of negative 3, 4, and B has coordinates of negative 1 and 1 half. 1, use the graph to find the coordinates of point C. Because this is a mixed number, I am actually going to use the graph um, because I think it's the easier way for this problem. You can use algebra or the other method that I showed you to show your work. So, we're looking for an end point and we know A is our other end point and B is our midpoint. And remember that when we are graphing, we start graphing at our end point. So we're going to graph negative 3, 4. So from the origin, that means we are going left 3 and up 4. I'm going to label that as A, and it's my end point, which means that I'm starting at this point. Then I'm going to label my midpoint of negative 1 and a half, 1. So I'm going to go left 1 and half of A box half of a unit and up one and label that as B which is my midpoint and I'm going to this point. So that means we're going from A to B and again we're going to work this like we would slope rise over run so down 3, that's a negative 3, and right 2, uh, positive 1 half, so 1 and a half. So that's exactly what we're going to do from B. Going to go down 3, so that's a negative 3, and go right a positive 1 and a half. And where we land is our endpoint of C. So what is that point? So we're on the y-axis, which means we have a zero. And we're below the x-axis, which means it's negative, and two. And then our last problem on the guided practice, x has coordinates of 1, 4, 7, 6, and y has coordinates of negative 3, 4, 5, 6. Find the coordinates of the midpoint of segment x, y. So again, let's label our coordinates x and y, and we are finding our midpoint. So we're going to take and add our x values, so 1 fourth plus negative 3 fourths divide by 2, add our y values, 
to 7 6 plus 5 6 divided by 2 1 fourth plus a negative 3 fourth is a negative 2 fourth by 2 7 fifths divided by or 7 divided by 6 plus 5 divided by 6 is 12 6 over 2. So let's reduce our top fraction. Negative 2 divided by 4 is 1 half. Negative 1 half. Still dividing by 2. 12 divided by 6 is 2. So 2 divided by 2. And then we need to keep reducing. So negative 1 half divided by 2 is a negative 1 fourth. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. So negative 1 fourth 1 is the coordinate of our midpoint.